citizen to a citizen for Citizen to a citizen for Another one And now, our feature presentation. Alright, citizens. Thanks for tuning back in. Um, today I got a quick one. Uh, it's, it's along the lines of um, pointing out uh, customer service and how warranties uh, work and how it worked for me. You know, a lot of times we'll get on here and we will we will blast the manufacturer, whether it be their product, uh, their lack of quality quality uh, control, or things of that nature. Um, I think we should always uh, swing on both. Well, Let's pause. Pause. Yeah. Swing on both sides of the fence. Pause. Um, when it comes to critiquing a manufacturer, so long intro. Sorry. But if you guys remember, probably about a week or two ago, I posted a video uh, talking about uh, my approvals coming back from the ATF uh, underneath the Amnesty program. And now all of my SBRs, uh, all of my APRs, ARPs, excuse me, have now been classified or categorized as uh, SBRs. So immediately i'm starting to take them out and clean them like i said in the video and i'll, I'll put that up there and uh, you can check the video out if you haven't or if you feel like it and what happened was i took out my favorite which is my 300 blackout and uh as you can see i haven't changed out the the brace to a uh, stock yet simply because this piece is out of stock. I looked on uh, Maximum Defense and they don't have it anymore. Well, they don't have it in stock. So what I'm gonna do this weekend is go to the local stores and see if I can if I can pick one up. But this will be changed out to a stock. But I digress. What happened was I, I, I took this out uh, of the safe and as you can see, everything looks fine, right? I got the magnifier, I got the red dot, but let me show you what happened. I took it out of the safe and it did this. Look, look at it, look at this, look at this. What are we gonna do with that? Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. That's not a good night. That's not even a good day. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Um, you know, at first, oh, let me do this. Let me show Claire real quick. Well, that's not clear, but it's clear now. But more importantly, let's just take this whole thing off and make it easier for the video, right? We'll put this out the way. All right. So this is the Holosun HM, HM3X magnifier. And it's a flip to side magnifier. And as you can see, this is not how, it, I mean, this is how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to flip the side, but it's not supposed to flip the side just like that. Um, so holding this close up, this is, this is what gives you the tension uh, on this movement here. Something internally has, has gone wrong with this and uh, there's no tension at all. I loosened this all the way, uh, took it out, no tension obviously, and then I tightened it, had a vice grip, tightened it down on this knurling here, 
um, tightened it down and still nothing changed. So something internally went wrong with this uh, particular piece. Um, I thought nothing of it. I said, let me go ahead and call Holosun uh, because I know they're a, a great company. Let me stop for a second there. Holosun, uh, throughout the years, when I was first introduced to them, up until now, up until to this day, everybody is saying, oh, Chinese companies and this, that, and the third, um, you know, don't deal with them. And, and, and um, you know, they're no good. How could you? You're an American. Listen, listen, I've said this in another video, but I'm going to say this specifically in this one. Nine and a half times out of ten, if you're watching this video, you know what you're doing? You're watching it on an iPhone. If you're not watching it on an iPhone, you're watching it on a Samsung. If you want me to stop using Holosun or Chinese products or uh, that are for accessories on firearms, American made or not, you know, get an American made uh, mobile device. I'll wait. Anyway. So I reached out to Hollison. Um, I didn't get what I expected. I expected long hold times. I didn't even expect to, to speak with someone. Um, long story short, long story short, uh, I hit the warranty option. Uh, and within two rings, I was speaking to a live person. That shocked me. Christian, I told Christian what the issue was. I had described it. Christian said, uh, can you find this little knurling and, and, and tighten it? I said, I can, I will, but I already did. But, you know, just for kicks and giggles, I'll do it again. And Christian said, is it still loose? I said, yeah, I tightened it all the way to the point where I'll probably start stripping it if I didn't. She said, no problem. Uh, is She confirmed my email address and she sent me an email. Now, I got to tell you, literally from the time I got on the call to the time I received the email it was about about 20 minutes. 20 minutes afterwards, she sent me an email. I'll, I'll throw it up here. And she said, um, you know, uh, I need this information from you. Name, address, serial number, model, um, where, where you bought it from, things of that nature. And, and pictures, if, if I can, I'll roll that in as well. So I, I took the pictures, I sent it over to her, and uh, Christian literally within, well, she acknowledged right away, and, and shortly after, maybe three or four days, I'm, I'm gonna bring in all the emails and show you guys all the receipts. She responded and said, "Hey, we got your we got your pictures. We got your email. We're going to be um, getting a replacement part and sending it out to you. And the specific replacement part, it's it's not actually uh, this, right? It's not the it's not the magnifier itself. It's this flip to side mount where you can see the separation right here. You unscrew these two screws, take that off, separate the." The magnifier from the actual mount keep the riser um, and what you'll get well what I got um, yesterday last night was a replacement mount uh, I sent it out to me um, no no information inside which basically means throw this mount out use this mount and I can tell I can already tell that this is a little bit different. It's a little bit shorter. In fact, when I went to try and see how this looks side by side, well, the quick release looks the same. Side by side, well, let's look over here. Yeah, you can tell looking at it side by side that it's a little bit different. Right, no argument there. You'll see this is a little bit more hooked in, so it looks like it kind of might grab the rail uh, a lot more. That looks about the same. Give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to actually swap these out and put it back on the uh, SBR and get right back to it. 
All right, so here we have the new the new mount, flip to side mount, uh, installed on the magnifier. As you can see here and see, super positive click uh, versus this one, which is you can just flip it. So we'll go ahead and mount this back on the uh, on the 300 and. Um, See how it goes from there. Might have to make an adjustment. Well, I know I'm gonna have to make an adjustment. Oh, sorry, camera. I know I'm gonna have to make an adjustment, but this is for video's sake. There goes that positive click. It's not falling. Hold on. Let's go on the other side. It's not falling like the other one. So we are back in business. And back on the range uh, Saturday, I'll take some footage uh, shooting this. So bottom line, I mean, you know, all of a sudden they have their lifetime warranty. It, they have the lifetime warranty and they have the limited lifetime warranty. So I'll explain. Anything dealing with uh, anything dealing with the the optic itself, um, mechanically. If, if it's if if it didn't if it didn't work the way it was supposed to work or it's not working the way it's supposed to work that's a lifetime warranty the reticle inside the the glass the optic itself whether it be the, uh, the well this one's a 503g with the ACSS reticle I don't know why it has a G there because it's not a green dot I'm guessing I don't know why but the others that have a G actually now I know why because the ones that are green dots it actually says GR. Anyway, this is the one with the ACSS reticle. Long story short, whatever, uh, if the optic goes down itself, you no longer wear and tear, it's a lifetime warranty. Now, the, what, what's, what is not a lifetime warranty and they have a limit on is the emitter. That's 10 years. Um, so, read your warranty. Whenever you get any of these products, Listen, just register, register your product. These guys are great. I didn't even, I didn't even get this magnifier directly from Holosun. But when I, when I got the package, it had a Holosun registration card in there. I registered it. They honored the warranty. This whole thing took about 15 days, I'd say, from like September 28th to October or something. And listen, everybody likes their brands. That's fine. I'm not saying. I, I, I like this brand over another. I'm saying this brand made sense to me. The, the lifetime warranty, the availability, the affordability, things of that nature. Can I afford uh, better? Um, yeah, can I, can I afford an EOTech? Yeah, but guess what? Prior to that, I had a bunch of hollow sun red dots, sort of like this, and I said to myself, if I got some red dots like this across three, maybe four platforms, this particular magnifier, I can go ahead and take this magnifier off and put it on the others at will, right? Because you can only shoot, well, technically, you can only shoot one, uh, one gun at a time. Well, you could shoot more than one, but effectively, rather, you know, one gun at a time. But for the platforms that I have this red dot on in this configuration with this riser and this height, I could swap this magnifier off of this one and three others and be on target i'm not going to be a hundred percent on target because obviously you got to zero this in um after you change it there is a slight uh difference anyway i'm not trying to drag this out i just wanted to go ahead and give kudos to christian over at hollison and hollison is a company uh all together hey if you like it you like it you don't don't worry about it all right Appreciate it. Uh, see you in the next episode.
Obrigado.